Hello, I'm Josh Miller. I work at Acre Media, and uh, ooh, Acre Media, and this is the second part in installing Commerce Two on Drupal Eight. And I'm just going to do this really quickly, uh, kind of like the last one, and try to do it here in about five minutes. So the first step is to go ahead and just do the simple Drupal installation. Now, the simple in Drupal installation can take kind of like the uh, um, command where we downloaded everything that we learned uh, how to do on docs.drupalcommerce.org. Um, it can take a fair amount of time. And so we just want to make sure that we have our bases covered here quickly getting the install started. Okay, so as I went over last time, whenever you're curious about using Drupal Commerce, you should definitely think of docs.drupalcommerce.org, click on version 2, um, and then, you know, pick basically what your what step you're on. Um, the second step, which is what this video is about, is really just getting started. And getting started uh, will be um, pretty simple for us because really all we've got to do is install Drupal and uh, then run a specific command. I'm running the shortcut command here today and we might do another video where I walk you through all the screens on how to do it. But um, the shortcut command will uh, create a store for us and um, I'm not sure. I haven't actually tried this yet without creating the currency so we'll, we'll see what happens. I think I think it'll install a currency. I don't know. But uh, re really what, what we want to do here is we want to create a, a store that has a product that you can check out with. That's the goal of this video, and the goal is to do that in five minutes. So I'm going to um, stop talking as soon as I finish describing this, and then we'll fast forward when the installation is done. Um, the, the trick of Commerce 2 on Drupal 8 is you need every product requires a store so if you're gonna create a product uh, you actually have to create a store and if you're gonna create a store every store requires a currency and so in order to get your product you have to have a currency imported and once you have a currency imported then you can create a store and once you've got that then uh, you're off to the races and making all the products you could possibly imagine and boom, we have site installation is done. Okay, now all of this so far has just been um, Drupal, not commerce specific. And once the site is done doing its last bit here, install routine, it's just going to dump us into a home page that has nothing to do with commerce at all. But since we ran the install routine, we have commerce installed for us. So, okay. So the first thing you might want to do is click commerce. And you're presented with a couple of things you can work with, orders, attributes, products, stores, and configuration. And where you could go is currency, import a currency, stores, create a store, and then we'll go and create a product. It's a different kind of command line tool um, called Drupal, Drupal console, and uh, it has one command in particular that I'm interested in, it's something for commerce. And um, I think I have to do the list command to see those. There we go. Okay, so commerce create store is what we can do. So you call the command line tool and then commerce create store and hopefully this will save us a little bit of time so my store I don't have an email it is in the United States and yes okay so I'm thinking what this is gonna do and this is why it saves you time is if you type in USD or EUR or some of the other three letter combinations that we're all familiar with 
is it will actually import that currency without having to go and import it. So if we go and look at stores now, that just saved us like seriously like seven minutes. And the first thing we can do is create a product, add a product. Uh, now there's a lot we can talk about for products, and that's going to have to be a different a different uh, screencast. But product, and uh, you can add, of course, anything that you would normally add to a Drupal page. And then, of course, we can create variations. Now our variation uh, is just going to have a SKU, product one, a price. Note it does know the currency. Create variation, and then save and publish. And now we have a product that we can add to cart. And once we have a cart, then you can see some of the other cool things that uh, Drupal comes with, your commerce comes with out of the box. Got a little drop down cart. Um, of course, checkout and everything else is integrated. And we'll get into more of this uh, as, as we go through these demos. Thanks for joining me.